Funded Italian Manufacturer Counts more than 300 Olympic medals, World Champion, Tour, Giro d'Italia and whatever, with or without Italian bicycle. And so really will be a very nice uh, moment to see the starting line there with this building behind. I mean, will be really great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Boca. Now I'd like to introduce Sabra Nagel, who is the technical director of the Gran Fondo Giro d'Italia, to come up and talk about the event. Good morning. Uh, awesome to see the cyclists here. This just goes to emphasize what we're all about. Um, I've got my notes on here, and so if any of you know the technological problems I've had in the last few days, you know I'm taking a huge risk by doing this. But anyway, um, as the technical director and representative for the Gran Fondo Giro d'Italia, I'm really excited to be here today. Pasadena is proving to be the perfect city for the inaugural events in what will become a series of events in 2013. We have one other event in uh, 2012, and it will be in Miami, but it's in November. So this will be the first Gran Fondo Giro d'Italia in the United States. Um, and who could ask for a better start-finish venue than the beautiful Pasadena City Hall and Centennial Square? The Grand Fondo is, a, is an exciting concept in recreational organized bicycling. The Grand Fondos are long-distance mass start cycling events that are a tradition in Italy. Grand Fondo loosely translates to big ride or big fun. They are not races, they are festivals of cycling and the cycling community, which in Italy can last several days. There are several key differences between a Gran Fondo and other recreational cycling events. The biggest one riding must start. The equivalent in bicycle racing would be the parade lap at the beginning of a race. It's an escorted, speed-controlled start with closed roads. In Pasadena, this start will be approximately eight miles led by Pasadena police. Um, and it will row past several of Pasadena's magnificent icons, including Old Town and the Rose Bowl. Um, in addition, we provide our riders with exceptional on-course support, mechanical and nutritional. Our courses are well marked so the riders hopefully never have to refer to the cue sheets that we provide. We also provide the riders a personal challenge. We have a King of the Mountain, Queen of the Mountain challenge. This is a timed climb of approximately 7 miles with an average grade of 5%. The KOM is considered a personal challenge. Riders can choose to challenge themselves or they can just ride hard. Um, and finally, we have our two days of Italian-themed expo. If it isn't Italian, it isn't a Grand Fondo. Saturday will feature a rider registration and pack up picket, as, pick, package pickup, as well as local vendors and, of course, all of our sponsors. On Sunday, after the big ride, that's when the big fun begins, where, we'll have the, where the expo will continue and there will be a post-ride lunch featuring Italian culture and food. I would like to thank the city of Pasadena, Mayor Bogard, um, City Hall Special Events, Mike Ross and his staff, and um, from the Visitors and Convention Bureau for being such gracious hosts. I would also like to thank Giuseppe Perone, the Council General of, the, of Italy in El Los Angeles, and Carlo Bocci, Director of the Italian C Trade Commission, for bringing a true Italian feel to the event. Thanks to all of our sponsors, Santini Sport, Interbike, Universal Sports and Bicycling that are here today and our other sponsors, Pinarello, Cell Italia, FSA, Limar, Vittoria, and Astoria Wines. And just before I came down here today, I was told that I can announce that a legend in Italian cycling, a winner of the Giro, Bay, and a former world champion, one of the overall greatest cycli cyclists in history will be our guest at the event, and we'll have bigger announcements on that in future days. Gotta leave it with a cliffhanger. <laughs> right. So, I have some presentations to make. Let me present to Mayor Bugard um, an official Santini polo. And I also have one for the Chief of Police, Philip Sanchez. Because you have a gun, I'll let you choose which polo. <laughs> <laughs> I also have one for city manager, Michael Beck. And 
for the Consul General, uh, Consul Peroni. And then just to kick off the party, I want to present Mayor Bugard with the official number one. And the official number two. All right, so I guess we're open for questions. Yes. If we grind Italian bike, we get a discount. <laughs> 